Hey guys, Crystal coming back on. I told you guys that um, if I needed to update you on anything on my giveaway that I would come back on and do that. Plus, um, I finished the desk organizer and I just finished the purse. So I'm going to be sharing those with you in just a moment. But um, I need to let you know that yesterday on my video, I totally forgot um, to let you know that this... Um, giveaway is open internationally u.s and international i really appreciate you guys and yeah i am willing to ship it to you if you win so please participate and i think by you know just sending in an atc card it should be affordable for you i know it's going to be expensive one way or the other internationally but hopefully that'll take some of the burden off and i hope you do decide to join so anyway, without further ado, I think that's all the business I needed to handle. <clears throat> Remember, I told you that I was going to make uh, one similar to this, but different papers, a desk organizer for your craft table, if you want to put it there, wherever you want to use it. But anyway, I just finished one, and I'm so tickled, and I hope you guys love it. This is what you will win if you win my giveaway isn't that paper absolutely gorgeous oh yes i have one piece of this paper left and i've reserved it for you suzanne i'm going to be making you something with it but anyway so i do need to put a disclaimer on this i do have an error i am going to point it out to you because i just want you to know um, it still functions it looks fine from the front. Everything looks fine. But look, right here, you can see that when I glued my side to the back right here, it moved on me. So it's not completely 100% straight right here. But other than that, everything else was fine. So I hope that's okay with you. And Anyway, so I used this beautiful paper out of that K & Company big, huge 360-sheet paper pad that I showed you. And I just picked out some coordinating papers. And you see this little butterfly here? Okay, I bought that from AliExpress. It's just one of those cheap metal um, butterflies. But I disassembled one and took the little antennas out of it, and then I rolled up some of this butterfly paper to make the center of the butterfly and covered that with glossy accents. I learned how to do that by Ida, who is created to create. Yeah, I love that tip that she showed us one day, how to do these little butterfly centers. I just love it, and I think it's so pretty. Anyway, um, yeah, and then I backed it on another metal butterfly and attached that with E6000. And then I put the little drawer pull and the metal feet, and they all coordinate. And I think that the hardware on this thing just matches perfectly with these butterflies. I am absolutely in love with it. So let me show you the, this is the side. Oh, just so you know, in this little compartment here, I mean, you can put anything you want to in it, but I made it specifically to hold my little bitty miniature um, fine tip glue bottle. And it, see, fits perfectly down in there. I love it. Yep. So, and I'm including one of those bottles in my giveaway too. So let's turn it around. And I'm going to show you the back. There's the back. And I put my label on there so you'll know, you know, in the future, you know, 10 years down the road, you can remember that I made it for you and that you won my giveaway. Alrighty. So there's that. All right, now, remember, <clears throat> I told you that I was going to follow Posh, not Posh Paper Lady, I followed her tutorial for the desk organizer. This tutorial is by Mixed Up Craft, and yes, now, the bag that I'm about to show you, I did not do it the same as, I mean, same design, don't get me wrong, I used a different embossing folder. And remember, I'm not going to have the initials on here because I can't put the initials on there until I have a winner, until I have a first name of the winner. But everything else is, you know, 
It's I picked different paper. I just wanted to try. I don't know. I just wanted to go with something different. And um, I wanted it to be an elegant, luxurious looking bag. I think I achieved that. You guys can let me know. But <clears throat> just wanted you to know that the letters won't be on there yet. Okay. So I'm about to show you my bag. But before I do... Uh, I just want you to know that I used this embossing folder for the bag that I'm about to show you. This one was more like rope-like. You see that? But I couldn't even tell you wh who created this um, embossing folder because most of them are labeled, but this one is not. So, <clears throat> nope, don't know. But anyway, here it comes. What do you think? I love it. I absolutely love it. I have never used the gold yet because I could never find any gold chain that I liked for a, a purse. So I finally found some that was shiny. I don't like I don't like dingy looking gold. It just irritates me. And this is the first time I've ever found some really pretty shiny gold. So here, I'm going to come in closer so you can see. Can you see the embossing folder details? And I put a black strip across the top. Now, when I have a winner, what I'm going to do, let me show you. <clears throat> I've got some letter die cuts, and I'll be cutting out your initials in the gold. And they'll go here, and it'll also go in this little circle here on your little uh, gift card holder. Or note holder, whatever you want it to be. And then I just attached all these chains. <clears throat> Here are the handles. Aren't those pretty? And I use little gold brads. Focus camera. Yeah, see, isn't that pretty? I just absolutely love the look of it. And these, and I use these um, rope-like, can you see that? The little rope-like my camera does not want to focus. I guess I've got too much going on in the background. I don't know. There you go. See those rope-like um, little... I don't even know what they're for. I don't know. I bought them in the jewelry department at Hobby Lobby. But yes, I think it turned out beautiful. Oh, and I wanted to show you something too. <clears throat> on the... Um, like I said, this could be a gift, gift card holder, note holder. And I embossed it too. Can you see on the black? It's embossed as well. I tried to pull out all the stops and make it as nice as I could for you guys. And I think it turned out super cute. And the recipient, <clears throat> I just stuck this down inside of there and it will be in there when you get... Let, let me pause so I can get that out. I can't do this one-handed. Hold one second. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I'm back. I stuck a little thank you card down inside just to thank you for being my subscriber and for entering my giveaway and... Isn't that cute? Matches the purse. Okay, and <clears throat> I'm going to turn it around and show you the back. Couldn't leave the back out. I finished it off as well. I embossed the back panel. I put another black strip. And for the handle attachments, I also used some gold brads. So, yes, I hope you guys really, really, really like what I made for you. And, of course, you're going to get the goodies, too. And knowing me, I'll add more goodies. But I just wanted you to see what you'll be receiving from me if you win my giveaway. So, anyway, I hope you like it. Give me some feedback. And we'll talk later. Bye.